Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. This is Elodie's Craft Time Creation. So today we're gonna make this lovely tag with a Jacques Cousteau um, citations, citation, and a couple of tags that go inside. So there's two pockets in the in this tag. And there's this one. I will put the tutorials up as well for these two uh, tags cards, tags, tags and cards. Oops, forgot to paint this one. Let's just do it really quickly. There. Okay. So there's a, a cloth here and then it's all being sewn around and I love this little parchment paper with the fish and then uh, so two pockets at the front here and the back you have the little um, what I've shown you. So now let's just do this. For this we're gonna need some of this paper. It's just absolutely amazing. For the French I bought it at Cultura. I, was, I just fell in love with it. Had to buy it. So we're going to need a piece of this, a bit longer than our tag, and brown cardboard, and then well, let's just find the quotes. Um, so this is the Jacques Cousteau quote, let me just get it. Uh, and then the other one. Over here. Let me just get all the other elements uh, needed to get to make this pocket. I'm gonna go a little bit faster and yeah. So these are all elements I've printed out for this journal. Uh, most of them are from the Graphics Fairy and then I just looked on a lot of different places like the British Library and all these places where you can get some copyright free material. Um, and I really recommend them. I mean, the British Library is amazing. There's so much stuff in there. It's just really incredible. Yeah, I love these spaces. Okay, so this is the brown paper that I'm gonna use for the back. And then we're gonna make the first pocket. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this brown paper here. And I'm gonna make the tag, tab, tab, sorry. I don't have a, a tab punch, so I'm just making them by hand. And what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna draw it. So if I don't have one at hand I literally just get um, like I just trace it out from my computer on my phone onto some tracing paper or something and that's it and then I just I just draw it and then I just um, cut it out literally. And I thought I would make a little bit longer than the one that I have on this tag. I thought it would look nicer. So here we are just cutting it off with our scissors. Nothing really hard here. It's really, really easy. It's just that if you love tabs and you have them everywhere like I do, it's a bit time consuming. But yeah, I don't have a tap punch. And well, we'll see if I get one later. 
but for now I'm doing it like this and it suits me it's I think it's really easy and you can make like any kind of punch uh, sorry any kind of tabs that you want if you want them bigger smaller thinner whatever you can make it it's really easy okay so that's the tab then we're gonna do the corners so I'm gonna use a small setting perfect Okay, next let's just glue this tag, tab, tab to tag. <laughs> and of course I am using my paintbrush just to make sure there's glue absolutely everywhere and nothing will come off. Let's make sure it's right in the middle and I'm eyeballing the middle. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm also using this piece of cloth just to remove any excess glue and I recommend you have one as well at the ready. And then I should have done this before, of course, but of course I forgot ink the tag, tab, sorry. <laughs> How are you guys today? This is such a beautiful day to be scrapbooking. I'm really happy. It's been it's been a, a whole lot of good weather here in Lyon, in the south of France. I'm really happy. Okay. Um, so next, let's make this pocket here. So for this, I'm using a piece of scrap brown uh, paper. And I'm just gonna glue them together and glue the pocket. I'm gonna cut them a little bit wider than the than the card, just so I have a little bit of um, you know, in case I get it wrong. I just want to be able to just cut it off if it needs to be cut off a bit further. And I will do this after it's stuck properly so that it doesn't move either. Make sure you get all the corners stuck properly so that nothing comes off. As usual with my UHU stick. And we're gonna leave a little space at the top to put this cloth that we have here. It's a ribbon. It's a satin ribbon, I think. It's I like it. It's green, blue, color of the sea. Just perfect for this. Just making sure I've got everything uh, with my bone folder so that it's all perfectly glued together. Okay, next I'm just gonna glue this, especially here. I 
and this is uh, where the where the image comes from. This is Ivan Belkin's Little Mermaid. And I always think it's quite nice to just write down where the images come from, you know, to just give credit to the authors. So I really like to do this and I do it as often as I can, especially when I know where the images come from, which is not often. Sometimes you just find images and you have no idea where they come from. And then that's a bit harder. Okay, next we're moving on to this vellum pocket at the bottom. Uh, so this is a vellum I got from uh, Action. They have on sale these vellum hot packets. Yeah. Um, in France, I think it's quite hard to get vellum. I had never really heard of it. I use like transparent tracing paper. Uh, but it's not the same, is it? I think it's just a lot thicker. I'm not sure. But it's very interesting. And I love sewing it because the uh, the glue doesn't... It doesn't work very well. I mean, it's fine, but it's just not perfect. Okay, next. Let's just do the back. So I've got this image, uh, this brown paper here that I'm just gonna glue at the back pretty much everywhere I want, literally. I just want to add a little bit of texture to the background, add a little bit of, you know, interest uh, to a very simple brown background, which is not that interesting. So I'm just cutting off a little bit of this brown. I think it, it's just cropped. It's very easy to come by. And I love craft paper. Alright, that's perfect. So now let's just glue it. And for that, I'm going to use my favorite UHU stick and or maybe, maybe my other favorite glue. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of inking using the Vintage Photo um, Oxide from Ranger and Tim Holtz. It's just to add a little bit of depth to the brown paper, otherwise it's a bit, you know, it's a bit plain. There we go. Okay, now let's glue this with my UHU stick. Since it's just a really thin piece of paper, the UHU stick is going to be perfect for it. Okay, let's just glue it. There, perfect. I'm gonna use my bone folder just to make sure it's absolutely everywhere. Perfect. This is me being a bit of a perfectionist, making sure everything is stuck properly. I would hate it if I sold one of these journals 
And the next day somebody calls me and tells me like, oh, nothing stuck. Everything is on the floor. Like, what? No way. Impossible. Can't be. I'm being too careful and taking too long to just glue everything properly. Okay, let's stick this amazing image as well. Um, I'm not sure this is from the Graphics Fairy. I think this is from the British Library's uh, free thing. It's, it's online, you can just find it really easily. There's a lot of, um, of what are they called? Like articles online that tell you, online that tell you where to get uh, images with no copyrights. They're really, really easy to find. All right. Okay, next. Uh, this is for the back. And I want to put a little tiny piece here. And I'm just gonna glue it. I'm gonna use tacky glue because this is vellum and vellum just doesn't stick properly. But then this is gonna be soon onto the, it's all gonna be soon, so it's okay. Well, otherwise I couldn't have a vellum pocket because it wouldn't, it would just come off. Okay, then we're just gonna add a little bit of brown paper as well behind the, the quote because otherwise the paper of the quote is pretty much the same color as the one with the um, um, shells so you know you need something in between kind of to just show that it's not the same thing and that you have different colors different textures so this is craft again but it doesn't matter it looks it looks really pretty like this I'm just making sure it's pretty much the same size as the quote, just a tiny little bit bigger. And then, as usual, I'm just going to ink it with my vintage photo um, from the Tim Holtz Ranger product thing. And it's a uh, vintage photo distress oxide. All right, there we go. Yeah, I think this is me also being a little bit um, over the board overboard over the top you know like just making sure everything is perfect perfectly inked perfectly glued do I sound like miss little little miss perfect I hope not <laughs> mm -hmm. okay let's glue this as usual let's uh, make sure everything is properly glued especially the corners corners are probably the most important bit if there's only if you have no more glue and there's one place you need to glue it's the corners and I'm using my nails or bone folder or even just a card or pretty much anything flat that you have at hand I have been using also the Distress Ink uh, brown, I mean the, the plastic packaging thing 
I mean, just literally just anything. Okay, and then let's just glue the brown paper. To the tag. Perfect. We miss just this little fish. I love the fish, it's so pretty. I think this is also from the British Library. And then it's just fussy cutted and then just glued. Yay! Back done. Let's do the front now. Okay, so we've made these before, so let's just glue them together. I'm using tacky glue to make sure it stays, stays a little bit glued because it's vellum and it doesn't, it doesn't glue properly, it doesn't glue well. Since it's gonna be uh, soon, it doesn't really matter, but I want to make sure it's glued with a, with a good glue before. Next, let's glue this pocket. Come on, glue. I'm going as fine as I can. And then I'll just glue it on the card. There. Perfect. And then I'm going to have to make eight of these. Well, six more. Six more of these. Whew. So it's going to take me a while. Okay. And now for the bottom pocket. And the little tags at the top, let's just glue these. Perfect! I'm just adding a little bit of an interest. I really like these uh, little tags, they're super cute. And I think anybody can just write whatever they want in them. So I think it looks pretty nice like this. And then we have the other little fish. It's like the brown fish brother. I thought it was cute to just use both of them on the same uh in the on the same tag. Yay! Cutie pie. Okay, now let's glue this bucket on. So I'm gonna use my tacky glue. So it sticks as much as possible. And I'm going to use just a little bit of washi tape to make sure that the bottom of my first pocket doesn't come off. It's just strengthen it. I don't think it's necessary, but you know me. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. And it's not going to be visible anyways because it's behind the fish. 
so it won't show. And of course I forgot that I had glued, uh, that I had cut this a lot bigger. <laughs> so as you can see, all the glue is just around. <laughs> it's not actually on the card. So I'm just gonna put the glue on the card this time and then I'm just gonna glue the pocket. I think that would work a lot better. <laughs> yeah. Okay, perfect. And then just make sure it's glued perfectly. And I'm gonna remove the excess glue from the other side and at the same time I'm gonna press everywhere to make sure that it's glued well enough. All right. Let's glue this quote. I'm using tacky glue because the it's stuck on vellum and I don't want it to come off. Perfect. In the middle, eyeballing it. Yep. All right. So that's done. And then we have these bits of cloth to add. So this is my cloth bag and let's just find, okay, so that's one of them. And then it's a green ribbon. Where are you? There, that green one. And we're also going to add um, something over there. Mm. This one would look nice, I think. Looks like mermaid hair. I love it. Um, maybe I'll just double it to make it uh, like thick. Yeah, that looks amazing. Okay, let's make another one for the brother. Awesome. Okay, so to glue this, I'm gonna use textile glue. Uh, oh, and I do need to stop the fraying, so I'm just using my lighter, and I'm melting the the ends there and making sure it all melts together. Uh, this one is pretty. Yeah. I should do it. Perfect. Make sure you don't burn yourselves. This just melts the threads together so they don't fray. It's a pretty easy process. Okay, next up, let's just glue this with my textile glue. Perfect. 
And I'll just cut off the excess later. I'll just make sure that everything is stuck properly with my fingers. This glue is pretty fast, so this should be fine. And next one, this is like a wavy white. I love it. I think it's perfect. It goes really, really well together. Looks a bit like waves. Perfect. Okay, let's just glue this. All right. There. I'm just gonna press it to make sure it stays there and put glue wherever is needed. Just press it. And that's done. Oh, let's make the, the little hole for the mermaid hairs. And that's finished. So the next step up is just gonna be to do uh, like cut all around it, all the excess, remove everything, and then sew all around for the buckets. A bit like this one. I love the hair. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it the hair. Okay, so this is my sewing. Let's do it for this pocket as well. So I'm doing the Z stitch all around with a brown colored um, string. I haven't done this for the first one. The first one I used blue and it was just a, it's not Z stitch, it's a, just a straight stitch. And I think these ones look amazing as well. And that's done. I think it looks fantastic with the stitching. So cool. That's one pocket and the second one and then um, this is it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!